When I saw that Stargell, I wondered, is that dude Kendall Willie Stargell? Yeah. That makes me not like them anymore. Whenever you're ready. Listen, when I, I can barely hear you. Oh, okay, that's good. That is super good right there now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Storm Dome on the campus of Georgia Southwestern State University. Hello again, everyone. This is Rusty Tunney. I'll be bringing you tonight's contest between the Clayton State Lakers and the Georgia Southwestern State University Hurricanes. The Hurricanes come in with a 12 and six overall record and a four and four Peach Belt Conference record. The Lakers with a six and 12 overall record and a two and six Peach Belt record. We'll give you tonight's starting lineup. This the way. This is the way they'll look. First for Clayton State, starting at guard will be a 6'6 redshirt sophomore from Columbus, Georgia, Travis Harper the second. Starting at forward will be a 6'8 junior from Gary, Indiana, Tyler Shirley. Starting at guard will be a 6'4 freshman from Goose Creek, South Carolina, Elijah Dates. And 
Starting at Ford, a 6'9 sophomore from Snellville, Georgia, Eddie Page. And rounding out the starting lineup will be a 6'6 junior from Richmond Hill, Georgia, Jamal Kleiss. For the Hurricanes, they'll start this way. Starting at Ford will be a 6'7 freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina, Tim Hall, Jr. Starting at guard will be a 5'11 senior from Durham, North Carolina, Jalen Johnson. A 6'5 redshirt junior from Charlotte, North Carolina, Christian Kuntz will start at guard. Starting at forward will be a 6'6 freshman from Teachney, North Carolina. That'll be Jaquan Moore. Rounding out the starting lineup for the Hurricanes will be 6'7 junior from Jacksonville, Georgia, Bryce Turner. Hurricanes trying to bounce back after a two-game road uh, losing streak last week. Hurricanes lost last Wednesday night at North Georgia, 83-77 and at Georgia College on Saturday by a score of 97 to 87. North Georgia sits atop. Uh, North Georgia and Lander sits atop of the Peach Belt Conference. Hurricanes currently in fifth place here in uh, the Peach Belt Conference. We'll be back after this break to bring you tonight's tip-off. You're listening to Georgia Southwestern State University basketball on 94 Sports. From Clayton State University in the town to take on Georgia Southwestern State University Hurricanes. Let's meet the starters for both schools. First for the visiting Lakers from Clayton State. A 6'6", Richard Suffolgar out of Columbus, Georgia's number two. Travis Harper, the second. A 6'8", junior forward out of Gary, Indiana's number eight, Tyler Shirley. A 6'4", freshman guard out of Goose Creek, South Carolina. Number 20, Elijah Dates. 6'9", sophomore forward out of Snellville, Georgia. Number 21, Eddie Page. And a 6'6 junior forward out of Richmond Hills, Georgia. Number 33, Jamal Weiss. The assistant coach of the Lakers in his third season is Andre Anthony. And the head coach for the visiting Lakers, also in his third season, Vince Alexander. McCulley with 18, Leah Johnson had 15, Destiny Garrett had 12, and Shanti Simmons, the final Hurricane in double figures with 11. The Hurricanes will be in their traditional white uniforms, Navy, Navy numbers and letters outlined in gold, and Clayton State will be in Navy blue with orange and white trim. Jump for 
the beginning of our contest. It'll be controlled by the Hurricanes. Jalen Johnson with the basketball. He's gonna hand it off to Tim Hall Jr. Now to Coons, a little pass in motion here. Jalen Johnson out in between the circles. Now top of the key, gets it over on the right wing to Coots. Coots will drive the lane, pulls up, running one-hander, good. Christian Coots gets the first basket of the night. Clayton State quickly down court. That's gonna be Tyler Shirley over to Elijah Dates. Dates to Travis Harper, now Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss at the top of the key, guarded there by Bryce Turner. Dribbles the left side. Passes it back to Tyler Shirley. Shirley's jump shot in the lane. A little long off the back of the rim. Loose ball picked up there by Christian Coots. Coots is going to get it to Jalen Johnson. Johnson going to be picked up by Elijah Dates. Dribbles over on the left wing. Cross court pass to Christian Coots. Coots pulls up a three. Good! Christian Coots with the three-pointer. And Christian Coots out with a quick five points, gives the Hurricanes a five nothing lead. Tyler Shirley over on the left wing. Dribbles gets it in to Eddie Page at the free throw line. Travis Harper Jr. A little pass, pass back to Eddie Page. Has it knocked away there by Christian Coots. Going to go out of bounds on Coots. So it'll be Clayton State basketball. Tyler Shirley will inbounds for the, Hurric uh, for the Lakers. Hurricanes on defense. Inbounds pass goes to Jamal Kleitz. Back in the corner to Elijah Dates. Dates a little lob pass into Eddie Page, and Page will get the dunk. So Page with the first points of the night for Clayton State. Man-to-man -man full court pressure by Clayton State. Jalen Johnson picked up by Tyler Shirley. Johnson gives up about seven inches in height to Shirley. Now in the lane, little running one-hander, no good. Loose ball gonna be picked up by Christian Coots. Coots, back over in the corner to Jaquan Moore. Pump fake, gonna drive the baseline, up off the glass, and good. Jaquan Moore with a great pump fake. Drives the baseline, gets it off the glass, and gets the basket. The Hurricanes now with a 7-2 lead. Travis Harper with the shot. Foul's gonna be called on Jalen Johnson. That'll be his first of the night. That's gonna send Travis Harper to the line. Travis Harper the second. Harper averaging 16.1 points a game, shooting 80% from the free throw line. Coach Aaron Coons will get a conversation with one of the officials here. First free throw on the way is up and good. For Harper. Hey, four man, four man. Clayton State coached four by man, Vince four. Alexander in his four second man, year man. at Clayton State. Hurricanes, Aaron Coombs in his fifth year. Free throw on the way is up off the back of the rim. Loose ball picked up by Jalen Johnson. Johnson on the run, gets cut off. Gets it into Tim Hall Jr. His shot no good. Put back by Bryce Turner. Bryce in the right place at the right time. Gives the Hurricanes a nine to three lead. TJ Stargell getting ready to check in for Clayton State. And yes, he is the nephew of baseball hall of famer, Willie Stargell. In the corner, three pointer, good. Elijah Dates with a three pointer. And now we're gonna have a technical foul, I believe, on Elijah Dates. Elijah Dates. Dates hit the three-pointer and started taunting the Hurricane player. So Jalen Johnson will go to the line. First free throw on the way is up and good. You gotta like having Jalen Johnson in the line. 89% from the line for the year. Second free throw on the way is no good. I think I may have jinxed Jalen on that shot. So Jalen Johnson now with one point. We get one of those three points back. 10 to six, your score. Hurricanes will inbound. It'll be Christian Coots inbounding to Jalen Johnson. Johnson now picked up by Travis Harper. Clayton State, a very long basketball team, got long wingspans. 
Christian Coons for three. Good! Well, Christian showed up to score tonight. He's three for three. Two free, two three-pointers and a two-pointer. Shot by Travis Harper is no good. Rebound by Jaquan Moore. Moore going to get it back to Jalen Johnson. Johnson now picked up by TJ Stargell. Has it taken away by Stargell. Stargell on the run. Going to get it back to Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss is going to be fouled by Jalen Johnson. That'll be his second foul of the night. Going to send Jamal Kleiss to the free throw line. Kleiss comes in shooting 61% for the year. 6.2 points a game. First free throw on the way is no good. So Kleiss will get a second free throw here. Wes Williams getting ready to check in, 6'10". They've got 6'6", 6'9", 6'4", 6'8", 6'6", on the floor right now. They outsize the Hurricanes by just a little bit, not much. That next free throw is on the way up and good. So Kleiss now with the free throw. Kleiss will get a rest here as Wes Williams checks in. 13 to seven, your early score. 16.35 to go here in the first half. Inbounds goes to Jalen Johnson. Johnson once again picked up by TJ Stargell. Crosses midcourt, right here in front of us. Gets it to Christian Kuntz. Kuntz gets it to Jaquan Moore. Moore out between the circles. Over to Tim Hall Jr. Has it to Jalen Johnson. Dribbles through the double team. Now gets it to Bryce Turner who goes up for a two-headed slam dunk. Monster dunk by Bryce Turner. Makes it 15 to seven. That gets the crowd excited. Eddie Page goes up strong and gets the basket. Page now with his second basket. He's got four on the night. Makes it 15 to nine. Christian Coots over on the far wing. Now gets it back to Turner. Turner hands it off to Coots. Coots with the shot. Oh, it goes in and out. Rebound by Wes Williams. Williams outlet pass to Tyler Shirley. Up court to Tyler. And that's going to be a basket by Tyler Shirley. And that foul is going to be on Bryce Turner. So Tyler Shirley gets the basket. He'll get the free throw with that. We'll have our first media timeout. 15-32 to go here in the first half. 15-11 to 11 your score. Hurricanes lead by four. We'll be back after this. 60. They say college is the best time of your life. But what about what comes next? At Georgia Southwestern State University, you're not just here for the clubs or the campus or the dining hall. You're here for small class sizes, affordable programs, and real world experience. When you come to GSW, you're not just here for college, you're here for your tomorrow. Georgia Southwestern State University, take tomorrow by storm. Start your journey at gsw.edu. Here is where we're from. Here made us who we are. Here is where we learn relationships are worth more than dollars can measure. It's a value that grows over time, strengthens under pressure, and thrives when serving others. We're Synovus, and we're here for our community because we live here too. Synovus, the bank of here. For a friend, be sure to grab a copy on their way out tonight. Again, those are also located at 15 to 11, your score. We're streaming live. You can find us on Hurricanes the YouTube channel. lead early GSW by four. Athletics. GSW Athletics Once on again, YouTube. Once again, Lady Hurricanes victorious tonight. They move to 15 and two. Overall, eight and one in the Peach Belt. They got a 21 point win over Clayton State, 83 to 62. Tyler Shirley at the line for Clayton State. Free throw on the way is up and it's good. Shirley now with three points. Marcus Harris will check in. He'll give Tyler Shirley a rest. Jaquan Moore will inbounds, gets it over to Christian Coots. 15 to 12 your score here early in the first half. 
Coots gets it up court to Bryce Turner. Turner over on the far sideline. Gets it to Jalen Johnson. Looking for a pick from Bryce Turner. Rolls gets the pass. Tim Hall Jr.'s dunk is knocked away. Loose ball picked up there by T.J. Stargell. Quickly up to Wes Williams, and Williams will get the basket. And Coach Eric Coons wants and gets a timeout. 15.06 to go here in the first half. 15 to 14, your score. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. EMC's core job is keeping the lights on, but our passion is serving our members. Because we're a co-op, our purpose is to enrich our members' lives. Educating and supporting our youth is the best way for us to invest in a prosperous future. As a local business, we're proud of our role in helping bring good things to our community and fulfilling another cooperative principle, concern for community. One thing remains constant. At 15 to 14, your score here with 15.06 to go in the first half. Hurricanes basketball, only Jaquan Moore, picked up there by Travis Harper. Moore crosses midcourt, pulls up on the baseline. His shot is good. Moore with the jump shot on the baseline. Now, Hurricane lead is three, 17-14. T.J. Stargell out to Wes Williams, top of the key. His shot is no good. Rebound taken by Christian Coots. Quickly up to Jaquan Moore. Moore with a Euro step, and he's going to get fouled. That foul is going to be on Eddie Page. That'll be the first of the night on Eddie Page. Muhammad Diallo getting ready to check in. He's a seven-footer. Junior from Decatur, Georgia. Jaquan Moore. Moore will be at the free throw line. First free throw on the way is up and it's good. Jalen Jordan in the game for the Hurricanes. Justin Munden checks in now for the Canes. Also Justin Reed. your score, 14.34 to go in the first half. Gay Hayes will be our guest at halftime. I always enjoy talking to Miss Hayes, Dr. Hayes that is. Travis Harper up to Diallo, back out to Harper. Cross court pass over to TJ Stargell. Stargell picked up there by Mondin. Dribbles in between the circles. Now gives it to Wes Williams, Wes Williams for three on the right wing. No good, rebound taken by Mondin. Mondin up to Justin Reed. Reed cross court pass to Christian Coots for three. A little short that time. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Travis Harper. Gets it over to TJ Stargell. Stargell on the run, cut off by Jaquan Moore. Back to Marcus Harris. Harris to Stargell, Stargell for three on the left wing. No good. Rebound taken by Justin Reed. Reed's gonna hand it off to Justin Mondin. Mondin crosses midcourt. He's gonna be picked up by Marcus Harris. Over on the right wing to Jaquan Moore. Moore guarded by Wes Williams. Gets it in the corner to Christine Coots. Coots trying to work for a shot. Goes up in the lane. He's gonna get called for the travel. Look of disbelief on Christian Coots' face. It's going to be Clayton State, State basketball. Keandre Bowles. Bowles will check in. T.J. Stargell will get a rest. Bowles, a 6'3 junior from Wilkinsburg, from Pennsylvania. Harris over to Bowles, back to Harris. Up course to Diallo. Diallo gets it back to Marcus Harris. Harris at the top of the key, guarded by Christian Coots. Gets it in to Diallo at the high post. Hands it back to Harris. Harris on the left wing, seven on the shot clock. Left-handed jump shot from the left wing is up and good. So Harris with the basket. 
Justin Mondin loses a handle on it. Travis Harper on the run, and he's going to run slap over Justin Reed. And they're going to call a blocking foul on that. My goodness. That looked like a running back tackling drill there. Jordan Johnson checks in for the Hurricanes. Or they didn't call a foul on Justin Reed. They just said it was out of bounds on him. 12.41 to go. Inbounds pass goes to Wes Williams. Williams looking inside to Diallo, the seven-footer. Can't find him. Gets it back to Tyler Shirley. Wes Williams inside to Diallo. Diallo goes up and good. Muhammad Ball Diallo home. gets Diallo. the basket, makes it 19-18. 12.24 to go here in the first half. Mondon over to Jaquan Moore on the far sideline. Dribbles into the lane, goes up off the glass, good. So Jaquan Moore now with seven points. And quickly up court, Wes Williams is gonna get fouled. That foul's gonna be on Justin Reed. So that'll send Wes Williams to the line. Jamal Kleist getting ready to check in. Eddie Page getting ready to check back in. Man, they have got some big bodies. Seems like every one of their players is 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", or 7 foot. Free throw by Wes Williams is up and good. Williams now with three points. Second free throw will be on the way. Free throw on the way. It's up and it's good. So Williams converts both free throws. He has four points now. That brings the Lakers back within one point. Jaquan Moore over to Justin Mondin. Mondin. Hand checking going on there by Marcus Harris. Mondin races past Harris. Three pointer by Johnson is no good. Gets it back out to Mondin. Mondin over on the right wing. Justin Reed drives, has a shot knocked away. Loose ball picked up by. Jordan Johnson gets it into Jalen Jordan. And now we're going to have a foul. Clayton State fouls on number 21. Eddie foul Page. is going to be on Eddie Page. That'll be his second foul of the night. And with that, we'll take a timeout. 11.43 to go here in the first half. Hurricanes lead 21 20. We'll take a 60 second break. You're listening to Georgia Southwestern State University basketball on 94 Sports. Buy an Immune Builder Smoothie. With 800% of your daily vitamin C, it's just what you need to rule the day. Now the Georgia Southwestern State University baseball team opens up the season at home this year. They have a three-game series. It'll be Friday and Saturday. Come on out to see the defending Peak Belt Conference champions on Friday night. Doubleheader on Saturday. I believe start time may be 1.30 or somewhere near that. Free throw by uh, Jalen Jordan is no good. Jordan shooting 74% on the year. Second free throw on the way is up and it's good. So Jalen Jordan converts one of two. That gives the Hurricanes a two point lead, 22-20 here in the first half. Kleiss over to Elijah Dates. Dates for three, up and good. 
So Elijah Dates with his second three-pointer makes it 23-22. Lakers lead by one. Jaquan Moore splits the double team, drives the lane, dishes off to Jalen Jordan, and it's going to go off of Jamal Kleiss. Jalen had a chance under the basket, lost a handle on the basketball, goes off of Jamal Kleiss out of bounds, so it'll be Hurricanes basketball. Jalen Johnson will inbound for the Hurricanes. Inbounds goes to Jaquan Moore, kicks it back out to Justin Reed. Reed out between the circles, pulls up at the free throw line. His shot is blocked. Loose ball picked up by Keandre Bowles. Bowles crosses midcourt, dribbles through a couple of Hurricane players. Now on the left wing, gets it inside to Tyler Shirley. And now we're going to have a travel call on Tyler Shirley. Shirley with a look of disbelief on his face. Goes and tries to plead his case, but I hate to tell Tyler Shirley, he ain't changing his mind. No matter how good a story you tell, Tyler Shirley, he ain't changing his mind. So a turnover by Clayton State gives the Hurricanes the basketball. Jalen Johnson for the Canes gets it up court to Jaquan Moore. Moore drives to the free throw line. Ja uh, Jordan Johnson's running one-hander is no good. Gets knocked out by Clayton State. So Jalen Jordan, uh, Jalen Johnson will inbound. As I've said before, we got a lot of Jalen's, got a lot of Johnson's, and a lot of Jordan's. Jordan Johnson for the Hurricanes pulls up on the left wing. His shot a little long. Rebound knocked away, picked up by Jalen Johnson. Kicks it over to Jaquan Moore. Rebound by Jalen Jordan. Gets it over to Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson for three, no good. Rebound by Tim Hall Jr. He has it knocked away, but I think we're going to have a foul. What a job of battling on the offensive end of the floor. Number eight, that's going to be Tyler Shirley with the foul. That'll be his first foul of the night. Hurricanes really battling on the offensive end of the floor. The Had eight, Tyler probably too many opportunities that Coach Vince Alexander of Clayton State wanted. Free throw on the way by Tim Hall Jr. is up and good. Hall shooting 53% on the year. Hall, 6 7 freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina. TJ Stargell. Tim's had a very good and very solid season so far as a freshman, too, on top of that. A lot of great basketball to look forward to from Tim Hall Jr. Second free throw is on the way. It's up and good. So. Two points in the game for Tim Hall. Puts the Hurricanes back ahead by one, 24-23. 10 minutes and 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Clayton State now with the basketball. It'll be Elijah Dates. A little, little passing action here. Gets it to Dates. Inside to Diallo. Diallo shot up and good. It's hard to defend a seven-footer. I'm just here to tell you. Clayton State now with a one-point lead, 25-24. Johnson gets it to Coots. Coots now to Jaquan Moore. Moore to Jalen Jordan. Jordan, pass. On the floor, loose ball. Jalen Johnson tied up with Muhammad Diallo. Jalen Johnson was anticipating on Jalen Johnson. Let, let me rephrase that. Jalen Jordan was anticipating Jalen Johnson going a different direction on that pass. Nobody there create a loose ball situation. In the loose ball, we had a jump ball, so it's Clayton State with the basketball with a one-point lead, 25-24. T.J. Stargell over to Elijah Dates, back out to Diallo, top of the key. Elijah Dates drive the right side, cut off, kicks it back out to T.J. Stargell. Now Diallo again on the baseline. Works his way, gets it out to Dates for three, up, 
and no good. Loose ball, and it's going to be out of bounds on Jamal Kleiss. So it's going to be Hurricane basketball. Full court pressure by Clayton State. Inbounds goes to Jalen Johnson. Johnson guarded there by T.J. Stargell. Johnson crosses midcourt, cross-court pass to Jordan Johnson. Johnson gets it in to Bryce Turner. Back out to Jaquan Moore on the left wing. Drives the lane, finger roll up, in and out, put back by Jaquan Moore, good. Jaquan Moore in the right place at the right time for the put back. He's got 11, gives the Hurricanes a one point lead. 26-25, Clayton State gets it in to Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss on the baseline, jump shot up, rims in and out. Rebound by Bryce Turner. Turner hands it off to Jalen Johnson. Johnson crosses mid court over on the far sideline. Shake and bake move over there on the wing. Kicks it back out, Bryce Turner. Bryce Turner, top of the key. Dribbles down the lane, turn around, jump shot from 10, no good. Rebound taken by Jamal Kleiss of Clayton State. Lakers on the run, back to Jamal Kleiss. Hands it off to Diallo. Diallo can't get a handle on it. Goes out of bounds, and with that, we'll have a timeout. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Hurricanes lead by a score of 26 to 25. We'll take a 60 second media break. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. All right, everyone, let's hit the road. Mom, who's this? Oh, that's Michelle. She's our alpha agent. She helped me file that auto claim fast after that accident last week. So I figured we'd bring her with us. Breakfast burrito? All right, 200 miles before we stop. I hope you've all used the bathroom. Michelle, you good? Call alpha agent Kevin Brown and Americas for a quote today. to go here in the first half. Hurricanes with a slim one point lead. It's been back and forth the entire contest so far. I expect this one to go down to the wire. Hurricanes will have the basketball, full court pressure by Clayton State once again. Baki Lecky in for Clayton State. Inbounds goes to Jalen Johnson. Johnson picked up there by Stargell. Clayton State looking for the double team chance. Pass down court. Going to be picked up by Baki Lackey of Clayton State. TJ Stargell now for Clayton State. Out between the circles. Over on the left wing to Travis Harper. Harper gets it to Lackey. Lackey back to Harper. Harper from the left wing. Up and good for three. Harper now with four points. Makes it 28-26. Jake one more over the right wing to Christian Koontz. Koontz for three, good! Christian Koontz with his third three-pointer of the night. He's got 11, gives the Hurricanes a one-point lead. 29-28. Stargell for the Lakers. Back over to Harper on the left wing. Leckie. Gets it inside to Tyler Shirley. His slam dunk is no good. And a late foul is going to be called. That was mighty late to be called a foul. May have been a foul, but it sure was late being called. That's going to be on Christian Koontz. First foul of the night on Koontz. That's going to send Tyler Shirley to the line. Shirley's gonna get two free throws. Again, I say it may have been a foul, but it sure was late in being called. That free throw's on the way up and good. Shirley will get a second free throw. Clayton State trying to figure out how they wanna configure the free throw lane. Free 
free throw is up and it's good. Tyler Shirley with five points. That last foul was not on number 10. It's going to be booked to number zero, Tim Hall. So Tim Hall now credited with the foul. 30-29, Clayton State leads. Jaquan Moore on the far side. Gets it to Jalen Jordan. Jalen Johnson, that is. Jalen Johnson over here on the right wing. Dribbles into the lane. Kicks it out to Christian Coots for three. A little short. Rebound by Jaquan Moore. Kicks it back out to Jalen Johnson. Johnson will reset the offense. 15 on the shot clock. Johnson dribbles down the left side. Spin move. Gets it into Tim Hall Jr. On the glass. Good! Tim Hall Jr. with the basket. He'll get an and one. Tim Hall Jr. will go to the free throw line. That foul is going to be on Bucky Lecky. That'll be his first foul of the night. Tim Hall Jr. will go to the line. He's two for two so far. Hurricanes lead 31-30. To the line, Tim Hall Jr. Tim Hall Jr. came in shooting 53% from the line. He's perfect three for three so far tonight. And the Hurricanes with a two point lead, 32-30. 6.14 to go here in the first half. Ball handed off to Keandre Bowles. Bowles gets it to Shirley. Shirley back over to Dates. Dates to Harper in the corner to Lecky, Lecky for three, good. Basket by Baki Lecky. Baki Lecky with his first basket of the night. They're gonna call it a two-pointer. It ties the game at 32. Mondin hands it off to Christian Coots. Coots now to Jaquan Moore. Pulls up his shot, no good. Long rebound taken by Elijah Dates. Dates gets it to Harper, Harper on the run. Cut off there by Justin Mondin. Tries a little fancy no-look pass inside. Goes off the fingertips of Keandre Bowles. So a turnover by Clayton State. Once again, picking up full court. Justin Mondin. Both the girls and the boys from Clayton State play a high-pressure, fast defensive game. That pass is knocked away. Picked up off the floor. Keandre Bowles goes up. His shot is knocked away. Where are they going to? Are they going to call a foul or just out of bounds? They're going to say out of bounds. Official tells the Clayton State bench to sit down. They were in disagreement of the call. Inbounds pass goes to Tra uh, Tyler Shirley. Shirley now hands it to Travis Harper. Harper inside to Bowles. Bowles off the glass, up and good. That was too easy. And now we're going to have a whistle. And we're going to have a delay of the game warning on Clayton State. 34-32, 4.58 to go here in the first half. Dr. Gay Hayes will be our halftime guest. Look forward to seeing and talking to Dr. Hayes. Inbounds, Jaquan Moore now with it, gonna drive the lane, goes up off the glass and good! Jaquan Moore just said, I'm taking it to the hole and I'm gonna score. And there's nothing you can do about it. So Moore with a power move, coast to coast, ties the game at 34. Clayton State now with the basketball. That'll be Elijah Dates out between the circle. Gets it over to Bowles on the right wing. He dribbles top of the key. Gets it over to Travis Harper. Pulls up for the three. No good. Rebound, Jalen Johnson. Johnson on the run. Down the lane. Goes up. Off the glass. Good. Jalen Johnson with only his third point of the night. That's kind of surprising. Jalen leading scorer for the Hurricanes. Bowles throws the shot up. Loose ball. Picked up there by Jaquan Moore. Now we're going to have a jump ball. Going to be Hurricanes basketball on the jump ball. Also at halftime, we're going to give you a little information about the rivalry with Clayton State, both women's and men's. We do a deep dive into the rivalry. Jalen Johnson back to Jaquan Moore, over to Jordan Johnson in the corner. Christian Coots for three, no good. 
Loose ball picked up by Tim Hall. Back inside to Christian Coots. Coots spins, goes off the glass. Good and one. Christian Coots with the basket, and he'll get an and one situation. That gives the Hurricanes a 38 to 34 lead. With that, we'll take a timeout with 3.50 to go here in the first half. Hurricanes lead 38 to 30. We'll take a 60 second timeout. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. You still got time to get in here for a second half. 3.50 to go here in the first half. Hurricanes with a four point lead. It's been a tough one so far. Hurricanes trying to break a two game losing skid. They lost both of those games on the road. Very tough contest. First one was at North Georgia last Wednesday night and at Georgia College on Saturday. So the Hurricanes looking to get back in the win column. Hurricanes currently fifth in the Peach Belt. Christian Coots trying to convert this to the old fashioned three point play and he does and Christian now with 14 points in the half makes it 39-34. TJ Stargell for the Lakers. It's gonna be guarded by Jordan Johnson. Runs through, passes out to Travis Harper. Harper on the left wing, guarded by Jalen Johnson. A lot of fancy dribbling there. Gets it off to Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss, spin move in the lane. Turn around, jump shot, no good. A little short, rebound by Jalen Johnson. Johnson gets it over to Coots, up court to Jordan Johnson. Johnson brings it out, dribbles over here right in front of us. Now gets it back to Jalen Johnson in between the circles. Jalen. Hands it off to Christian Coots. Now, Jaquan Moore. Jaquan Moore with a little shake and bake move in the lane. Throws up, no good. Rebound taken by TJ Stargell quickly to Harper. Tries to get the alley oop, can't get it to go. Loose ball picked up by Jaquan Moore. Quickly down court. Christian Coots once again, no good. Rebound taken by TJ Stargell. Tyler Shirley getting ready to check back in for Clayton State. T.J. Stargell for the Lakers. 2.37 to go here in the first half. Stargell gets it to Leckie. Leckie on the high post over to Marcus Harris. Harris down the lane. This is it off to Leckie. Leckie with the basket, and it's good. Baki Leckie now with... Five points, Jaquan Moore for the Hurricanes. Moore has it knocked out of bounds there by Lecky. Colin Shirley will check in. Lecky will get a wrist. So the Hurricane basketball, Christian Coots will inbound for the Hurricanes. Hurricanes will also make a substitution. Number one, Deontay Petrie. Deontay Petrie will check in for the Hurricanes. Coots inbounds to Jalen Johnson. Johnson back to Coots. Coots on the right wing. Back out to Johnson. Johnson down the lane, running one-hander. Oh, good. Little finger roll by Jalen Johnson. He has five. 
That makes it 41 to 36, just under two minutes to go here in the first half. T.J. Stargell gets it to Kleiss on the high post. Kleiss can't find anybody, has it knocked away by Tim Hall Jr. Kleiss picks it back up, gets it back over to Tyler Shirley. Shirley drives the right side, goes up, no good. Rebound by Tim Hall Jr. Hands it off to Jalen Johnson. Johnson quickly gets it up to Christian Coates. Coates cross court to Jordan Johnson. Down in the corner to Petrie. Petrie for three off the glass. Good! Petrie called glass. I heard him. 44-36. TJ Stargell down the baseline. A little reverse layup is up and good. Stargell with his first basket of the night makes it 44-38. Jordan Johnson now going to get double T. Gets it to Jalen Johnson. Johnson, no look pass, has it taken away by TJ Stargell. Pass up court to Travis Harper. Over in the corner for three, no good. Kleiss gets the rebound. Foul's gonna be called on Jordan Johnson. That'll be the first foul of the night on Jordan Johnson. Jordan Johnson giving away about five inches there in height. Maybe more than that, let's look. Yeah, make that about eight, eight inches in height to Jamal Kleiss. And now coach Vince Alexander of Clayton State wants and gets a timeout. It's going to be a 30 timeout second timeout. We'll be back after this. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. seconds to go here in the first half. Hurricanes with a six point lead, 44-38. Don't forget our halftime guest, Dr. Gay Hayes. Just giving her a hard time. I pulled the old Seinfeld. Just what is it you do around here? I know what she does. <laughs> she works a lot and works hard. Inbounds pass goes to Harris. Harris has it knocked away by Tim Hall Jr. They're gonna call basket interference on Tim Hall Jr. So give Marcus Harris his second basket of the night. That makes it 44-40. Justin Munden will check in for Jordan Johnson. Hurricanes basketball, 41.6 seconds to go. Deontay Petrie will inbounds. Inbounds goes to Jalen Johnson. Gets it back to Justin Mondin. Mondin across midcourt, gonna get double team. Has it knocked away, picked up by TJ Stargell. Loose ball on the floor now. Christian Coots on the floor, but picked up by T.J. Stargell. One shot, says Vince Alexander. Lost opportunity on that last possession. T.J. Stargell, nine seconds. Goes off of Stargell's foot, and it'll be the Hurricanes getting the last shot. So Jordan Johnson will check in. Jordan Johnson with Justin Mondin. Jaquan Moore going to inbounds. 8.1 seconds to go. Change that. Jalen Johnson will inbounds. 8.1 seconds to go. Inbounds goes to Jaquan Moore. Moore across midcourt. Kicks it out to Jordan Johnson for three. No good. We'll go to halftime with the Hurricanes leading by a score of 44 40, 44 to 40. We'll be back with our halftime guest, Dr. Gay Hayes, after this. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. Communities don't just happen, 
They're built by people. From the big moments to the small acts of kindness. It's the authentic connections we make that define us. At Alpha Insurance, we know that every day you're building things that are worth protecting. Because for us, this is more than coverage. It's who we are. Call Alpha Agent Kevin Brown and Americas for a quote today. Hospitality room is open for our Canes 360 members. Perhaps as you came in tonight, you saw the big glass room outside the main entrance and a lot of buzz and excitement going on inside. Well, you can have access to that area right here, right now. And just inquire with a staff member at the top of the stairs on how you could gain access to our hospitality room and be part of the Canes 360. Right here, right now, tonight. Check it out, K360. Ask all about it. Also, for those of you that are new facility, restrooms are located throughout the main concourse. You can just wrap your way around the building on the main concourse level, and you will run into one of those restroom facilities. Concession stand is open. It is located just on the other side of the wall of the video boards. Head back out into the kind of main concourse level, and again, the concession stand is on the side of the wall other side of the wall where the video boards are located. Live stats, streaming video of tonight's broadcast. We are currently streaming live. Again, a couple of ways you can find us. Peach Bell Conference Sports Network, PBC Sports Network. If it is a Peach Bell Conference game or match, it's going to be on the Peach Bell Conference Sports Network. You can find it at pbcsportsnetwork.com. We also simulcast on the Surge Sports Network, which is our YouTube channel. Join our over 1,600 subscribers today on YouTube. Never miss any of the action if it's a home event. If it's Facebook. No bells and hoses, not X and hoses. I do O2 sensors, but not defenses. Yeah, I make a right call to keep your car in the game. Don't even need a playbook. It's all in my brain. Fuel injectors, alternators, radiators too. It's who I am. It's what I am. At Zaxby's, there's nothing better than hand-breaded chicken, unless it's hand-breaded chicken with sauce. From sweet to savory, mild to wild, even that world-famous Zax sauce. What? Athletics, GSW Athletics on YouTube and X GSW Hurricanes on Facebook and Instagram. Right. Got it? Good deal. <laughs> well, yeah. Speeds, there's nothing better than hand breaded chicken. Unless it's hand breaded chicken with sauce. From sweet to savory, mild to wild, even that world famous Zach sauce. Whatever you're craving, we've got the sauce at Zaxby's. by Dr. Gay Hayes. Dr. Hayes, it's always good to have you here, and I know I ambushed you in the recruiting center in between games, and I apologize for no more further out notice than that. No worries. I'm happy to be here. It's so exciting to be in the Storm Dome watching the Hurricanes play and winning, and the women looked great, so it's a great day to be a Hurricane. It is. A, it's always a great day to be a Hurricane. I tell you what, it's an exciting atmosphere. Uh, Coach Coombs, who has experience in coaching in many different areas and many different places throughout the country, says it's the best environment in the Peach Belt. I, I have they say college is the best time of your life, but what about what comes next? At Georgia Southwestern State University, you're not just here for the clubs or the campus or the dining hall. You're here for small class sizes, affordable programs, and real world experience. When you come to GSW, you're not just here for college, you're here for your tomorrow. Georgia Southwestern State University. Take tomorrow by storm. Start your journey at gsw.edu. At Zaxby's, chicken and delicious go hand in hand. 
as in hand breaded, hand seasoned, and handmade to order. There's only one place you can get chicken like that. Zaxby's. Just what is it you do here? Had to pull my sign off. Oh, gosh. Well, I have the best job in the world. I get to work with wonderful people like your son, and I, you know, I enjoyed every minute of it. it I get to tell people the hurricane story. And it's, it's a great story. There's so many wonderful right. things happening here. You see it tonight on the court. It looks like we're off and running. We're seeing it in the classroom. Yeah, we should have no problem getting through this right here tonight. There are uh, just as exciting and fair in the academic. Charter Tours is a locally owned and operated charter bus company. We pride ourselves in top of the line quality customer service, experience, and safety. Our modern buses range from 36 passenger up to 56 passenger. Equipped with reclined seats, footrest, flat screen monitors, lavatory, power outlets, and Wi-Fi. Our reputation and safety rating speaks for itself. We serve several universities, schools, churches, civic groups, military, and corporate companies. Let KNS Charter Tours handle your next sports event, corporate outing, church function, high school or college football, and more. KNS, keep moving forward. life is great. You know, the enrollment, as you said, is up. Any idea what enrollment's about these days? Yeah, so uh, absolutely. 3415 was our fall enrollment. We were up 11% over last fall, and this spring we're going to be up to more than 13% over last spring. I think we'll be the highest growing university for the spring term again. Uh -huh. That's great news. That's great news, Dr. Hayes. Well, Dr. Hayes, I want to say thank you for coming by and seeing us. I got a few other things I've got to cover, but appreciate you coming by and joining us. It's always a pleasure having you. It's so great to be with you. Thank you for having me. I tell you what, you're one of the sweetest souls I know, and I appreciate you coming by. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Gay Hayes. We'll take a two minute break and be back with more halftime activities after this. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94.
Uh, no, I cannot. There we go. All right. Jalen Johnson with five points, Bryce Turner with four points, Deontay Petrie with three points, and Jalen Jordan with one point. In the shooting department team-wise, the Lakers were 15 for 28 from the floor for 54% shooting percentage. From three point, they were three for nine at 33%. And from the free throw line, they were seven for nine shooting 78%. Hurricanes were 16 for 32. I'll make that 35. They were shooting 46% from the field. They were four of 13 from three point at 31% and were eight for 10 from the line shooting 80%. In the rivalry, deep dive rivalry, we'll first start with the men's. The men's versus Clayton State over the years are 17 and 19. The Hurricanes won both games last year. First game at Clayton State was a Hurricane win, 75-71. And then here at the Storm Dome, the Hurricanes would, leave set, would win 73-69. First meeting ever between Clayton State and Georgia Southwestern took place on January the 3rd, 2007. Clayton State won that game by a score of 67-64. As we said, the most recent game played between the two teams, February 22nd, of 23 where the Hurricanes won 73-69. The Hurricanes have won the last six and eight of the last nine. Margin of victory when the Hurricanes win, 10.3 points. Clayton State's average margin of victory, 9.7. So a pretty close rivalry, but not so much in the women's. Clayton State leads the series 30 to five over the Hurricanes. As a matter of fact, Clayton State won the first 18 games between the Lady Lakers and the Lady Hurricanes. Clayton State won both games last year, surprisingly. Won the first game at Clayton State, 64-62, and the game here in the Storm Dome, 61-60. Very first meeting between the Lady Hurricanes and Lady Lakers took place January 3rd, 2007. Clayton State would win that game 97-59. Clayton State until tonight, in which the Hurricanes won, had won the last three, the Lady Hurricanes, the previous three before that, and then Clayton State winning the previous six before that. So it's been a series of streaks. Clayton State's average margin of victory in the women's games were 17 points, and average margin of victory in the ladies' contest when the Hurricanes win, 6.8. So we're gonna go to the second half here. The Lakers with the basketball. Get situated here, and a dunk attempt there by Travis Harper is foiled. So the Hurricanes will get the basketball. Jalen Johnson now out near midcourt gets it over to Jaquan Moore. Jaquan Moore, a little shake and bake move, pulls up, little six footer, can't get it to go, rolls off the rim. Lakers now with the basketball. That'll be Elijah Dates. Dates gets it back to Travis Shirley. Loose ball on the floor, gonna go out of bounds. Gonna say it went off of a hurricane. Student section can't believe it. 
But it'll be Travis Shirley for Clayton State inbounding. Gets it to Elijah Dates. Dates out between the circle. Gets it back to Travis Shirley. Shirley on the right wing has it knocked away by Christian Coots. Loose ball. Tim Hall is going to knock it out. No question that time. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Clayton State. Travis Harper inbounds, gets it back. Six, he's going to take the NBA three-pointer, and it's good. Wow. That was an NBA three-pointer. That cuts the lead to one, 44-43. Jalen Johnson now with the basketball. Clayton State now looking for the double team. We get it to Christian Coots. Coots pulls up for the jump shot just beyond the free throw line. His shot's no good. Travis Shirley almost gets it, and they're going to say it goes out of bounds on Travis Shirley. Nice defensive effort that time by Jalen Johnson. Forces Tra uh, Tyler Shirley to touch the ball before it goes out of bounds. So it'll be Hurricanes basketball, Jalen Johnson out near midcourt, gets it over to Tim Hall Jr. on the left wing, hands it off to Coots. Coots back out, top of the key to Bryce Turner. Jalen Johnson on the right wing, guarded by Travis Harper. Cross court pass to Christian Coots. Coots drives, layup, good! And Christian Coots will once again get a shot at the end one. That foul is going to be on Elijah Dates. It'll be the first of the night on Elijah Dates. Second personal first team foul. Coots will go to the line. He's got 16 points so far. Free throw on the way. It's up and good. So Christian Coots now with 17 points. Coach Vince Alexander trying to work the officials over here. Pass goes up to Travis Harper for Clayton State. Canes lead 47-43. Tyler Shirley goes off the fingertips of Jamal Kleist, picked up by Shirley. Three-pointer is a little bit short, and it's gonna be out of bounds off of Bryce Turner. So it'll be Clayton State basketball. Elijah Dates will inbound. Inbounds goes to Travis Harper. Harper pulls up another three-pointer from NBA land. Loose ball picked up by Kleist. Dates in the corner, dribbles out. Passes now to Tyler Shirley, and now we're going to have a whistle. Foul is going to be on Bryce Turner. That'll be the second of the night on Bryce Turner. His second personal is the first team foul of the house. Elijah Dates will inbounds for Clayton State. Gets it to Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss looks inbounds, gets it back to Dates. Dates gets it into Eddie Page. A little jump hook, no good. Rebound, Tim Hall Jr. Hands it off to Jalen Johnson. Johnson dribbles over on the right side. Back out to Christian Coots for three. He's off. That's going to go out of bounds. So it'll be Clayton State basketball. Clayton State. That'll be Elijah Dates for the Lakers. Dates, top of the key. Tyler Shirley, Shirley in the lane, spin move. Gets a pass down to Page. Page, spin move off the glass, up good. Eddie, Eddie Page with Eddie. the basket. He's got six on the night. Inbounds goes to Christian Coots. Coots over to Jalen Johnson on the far side. Johnson up the sideline. Johnson once again over on the right wing. Pulls up, jump shot, good! Jalen Johnson with the basket makes a 50 45. Quickly up court. Travis Harper. Harper down the baseline. Now we'll have a whistle. It's going to go out of bounds on Travis Harper. So that's going to be a turnover. It'll be Hurricane basketball. Marcus Harris will check in for Clayton State. Travis Harper will get a rest. 
inbounds, goes to Christian Coots. Coots going to be picked up by Elijah Dates. Coots across midcourt. Now gets it to Jaquan Moore. Jaquan Moore, triple team. Gets the pass off to Coots. Coots throws a shot up, no good. Rebound by Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss on the run, going to take it all the way. Up, no good. And a whistle, and we're going to have a foul. Foul is going to be on Jaquan Moore. I mean, the first of the night on Jaquan Moore. The second team foul of the half. The Lakers will go to the to shoot two. It'll be Jamal Kleiss. Jamal Kleiss. We'll go to the line. Free throw by Kleiss is up and good. Kleiss now with two points. TJ Stargell will give Elijah Dates a break as Dates reports to the bench. Jamal Kleiss, free throw on the way. It's up and good. Kleiss now with three points. That cuts the lead 50 to 47. Bounds goes to Jalen Johnson of the Hurricanes. Johnson crosses midcourt. Gets a pick from Bryce Turner. Cross court pass to Jaquan Moore. His three pointer up and good. Jaquan Moore with 14 now. Makes it 53 47. Tyler Shirley gets a pick from Wes Williams. And we're going to have a foul called on Wes Williams. He's in disbelief. I mean, the first foul of the night on Wes Williams. And with that, we'll have a timeout. 15.46 to go here in the second half. Hurricanes lead by score of 53-47. We'll take a 60-second media timeout. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. They say college is the best time of your life, but what about what comes next? At Georgia Southwestern State University, you're not just here for the clubs or the campus or the dining hall. You're here for small class sizes, affordable programs, and real world experience. When you come to GSW, you're not just here for college, you're here for your tomorrow. Georgia Southwestern State University, take tomorrow by storm. Start your journey at gsw.edu. Here is where we're from. Here made us who we are. Here is where we learn relationships are worth more than dollars can measure. It's a value that grows over time, strengthens under pressure, and thrives when serving others. We're Synovus, and we're here for our community because we live here too. Synovus, the bank of here. 47. Six point lead it's by the Hurricanes. 15.46 to go third, here in the second half. Jalen Johnson, Tim Hall Jr., Bryce Turner, Jaquan Moore, and Christian Coots on the, Hurricanes. 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 On the floor for the Hurricanes. Harris, Diallo, Stargell, Shirley, and Williams on the floor for Clayton State. It is inflatable chair. Jalen Johnson has it knocked away by T.J. Stargell. Pass down on the baseline, kicks it back out to Christian Coots. Coots goes up, throws up, and good! Christian Coots will get his third try at an and one. He's already com converted the first two. That foul is going to be on Marcus Harris. That'll be his first foul of the night. Coots with 19 points on the night. Free throw on the way is up and it's good. So Christian Coots with 20 to lead the Hurricanes, 56-47. T.J. Stargell for the Lakers. Gets it to Diallo at the top of the key. Diallo hands off to T.J. Stargell. Stargell will give and go to Diallo. He's hammered. That'll be a foul by 
It's going to be on Jaquan Moore. That is going to be the second foul of the night on Jaquan Moore. Clinton State will go to the line to shoot two. Mohamed Diallo. Mohamed Diallo with the free throw. On the way up and no good. Diallo will get a second free throw. On the way up and no good. Rebound by Jaquan Moore. Moore's going to get it to Jalen Johnson. Clayton State will get the double team, but Jalen Johnson gets it to Jaquan Moore. Now to Tim Hall Jr. Tim Hall Jr. to Bryce Turner. Three pointer by Jalen Johnson. Good! Jalen Johnson drains the three pointer, makes it 59 47. You don't leave Jalen Johnson wide open and alone with that kind of time unless you want to go down by three more points. Stargell loses a handle, but we're going to have a whistle and a foul. That foul is going to be on Turner. That'll be his third of the night for the Hurricanes. Fourth team foul here in the second half. T.J. Stargell will inbounds for Clayton State. Jordan Johnson will check in, give Jordan Bryce Turner a rest. Inbounds goes to Wes Williams. Williams hands it off to Tyler Shirley. Shirley cross court pass over to Marcus Harris on the left side. Dribbles to the free throw line. Gets it down to Diallo. Diallo up and shot no good, but a foul is going to be on Tim Hall Jr. Congratulations to our lucky fan who has upgraded her seat. I don't blame him for trying to force feed Mohamed Diallo. He's a seven footer. Tim Hall did the best he could. He worked him until he finally ended up having to foul him. Diallo's free throw is on the way. It's up and good. So Diallo now one for three from the free throw line. He's got five points. Diallo, free throw on the way, up and good. So Diallo now two for four from the free throw line. That cuts the lead to 59-49. 14-28 to go here in the second half. Hurricanes lead by 10. We'll take this 60-second media timeout. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 90. Your EMC's core job is keeping the lights on, but our passion is serving our members. Because we're a co-op, our purpose is to enrich our members' lives. Educating and supporting our youth is the best way for us to invest in a prosperous future. As a local business, we're proud of our role in helping bring good things to our community and fulfilling another cooperative principle, concern for community. One thing remains constant at Sumter EMC. We are always working together for the members and communities we serve. Making the most noise, this crew up very loud, bunch coming from right there as well as the baseline. And as we skip over, hello, hello, Yes. 59 49, your score. 14 28 to go here in the second half. Hurricanes are being led by Christian Coots with 20 points. Jaquan Moore has 14. Jalen Johnson starting to heat up. He's got 10. Those are the only three Hurricanes in double figures. Clayton State surprisingly with no player in double figures. Jalen Johnson over to Christian Coots. Coots back to Jalen Johnson. Johnson crosses midcourt. Directs traffic, gets it to Jaquan Moore. Moore dribbles down the left side of the lane, loses a handle on it, loose ball on the floor. Gets it up court, Tyler Shirley up with a dunk. Tyler Shirley with the two-handed dunk. 
Jalen Johnson now for the Hurricanes. Gets it to Christian Coots. Tell you, this full court pressure defense by Clayton State is really effective with their height and their length. That three-pointer no good by Jordan Johnson. Loose ball picked up by Muhammad Diallo. Diallo gets it to Marcus Harris. Harris out to Diallo. Now I'm sure they don't want Diallo shooting from that far out. Gets it back to Tyler Shirley. Shirley over to T.J. Stargell on the left wing. Diallo from the free throw line. Shot off the glass and good. Wow, he didn't call glass. Diallo now with eight points. Cuts the lead to six, 59-53. Christian Coots from the elbow, shot no good. Loose ball picked up there by Wes Williams. Kicks it out to T.J. Stargell. Stargell spin move in the lane, throws it up off the glass, no good. But a foul is going to be called. That foul is going to be on Jaquan Moore. That'll be the third foul of the night on Jaquan Moore. Deontay Petrie will check in for the Hurricanes after this first free throw. Stargell getting his first two free throws of the night. He comes in shooting 89%. Free throw is up and good. If indeed it is Willie Stargell's nephew. Wow. Pops. We talk about a power hitting outfielder early in his career, then turned into a first baseman. Hit a lot of home runs and a lot of long home runs for the Pittsburgh Pirates. That shot is no good. So Stargell misses the second of two. Jordan Johnson throws it up off the glass, no good. Rebound by Diallo, quickly out to P.J. Stargell. Stargell gets it to Shirley. Shirley up, nope, has it knocked away. Ball on the floor. I can't see a thing. Coach Vince Alexander in the way. We're gonna have a whistle and I think they're gonna call a jump ball. So it'll be Hurricane basketball. Jump ball, the call of the floor, possession, a real quick to the Hurricanes. Clayton State has on a 5-0 run here. Hurricanes led by 10. That shot no good. Dunk missed by Tim Hall Jr. He gets his own rebound. Gets the basket, he'll get an and one situation. That foul is going to be on Marcus, no, make that Muhammad Diallo. Diallo picks up his first foul. So Tim Hall Jr. will get a free throw. This is the fourth free throw of the night for Tim Hall. He's three for three so far. Free throw on the way is up, no good. Rebound by Wes Williams, kicks it out to Christian, don't make that T.J. Stargell. Stargell down the right side of the lane, throws it up off the glass, no good, rebound Diallo, put back, up and good. Diallo now in double figures with 10 points. 61-56, five point lead with 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Deontay Petrie gets it over to Christian Coots. Jalen Jordan getting ready to check in for the Hurricanes. Christian Coots on the left wing. Started by Wes Williams. Cross court pass to Tim Hall Jr. Gets it back to Coots. Coots with eight on the shot clock, kicks it back out to Petrie, and he's gonna get called for the travel. Now they're gonna call an offensive foul on Deontay Petrie. So it's gonna be Clayton State basketball. And with that, we'll have a timeout. 11.47 to go here in the second half. 61-56, your score. Hurricanes lead by five. We'll take this 60-second media timeout. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports. So, uh, one of our professors on campus, Urban Anderson, putting up his own money. $200 is the last I heard. Price has gone up. He wants to give it away. He wants to give away some cold hard cash and he's gonna try to do it tonight. Payne Settles from the GSW golf team is in the house. He's gonna take a shot at Urban Anderson's cash. Oh, off the front of the rim, so close. But we only get one crack at it per night and that is 
if Irvin gets to hold on to his money one more night, but we'll try it again Saturday. We'll try it again Saturday night. When the Hurricanes entertain Lander, that'll be our next home game. 5.30, 7.30, back here in the Storm Dome. Right, excuse me, Saturday night. Next home basketball game. This. 11.47 okay, to go here in the ladies, second half. 7.30 for the men against Lander. We hope to see you back here in the Storm Dome. It'll be Clayton State basketball. Tyler Shirley will inbounds. Gets it to T.J. Stargell. Five-point lead by the Hurricanes, 61-56. Stargell gets it over to Williams on the left wing. He hands it off to Travis Harper, backdoor pass to T.J. Stargell, kicks it back out to Tyler Shirley. Shirley, spin move in the lane, one-hander up, no good, rebound by Jalen Jordan. Jordan gonna hand it back to Jalen Johnson. Johnson gets by T.J. Stargell. Johnson to Deontay Petrie, over to Koontz. Koontz down the baseline, goes up, reverse layup, good. Good move that time on the reverse layup by Christian Coots. Pushes the lead back to seven, 63-56. Just under 11 minutes to play. TJ Stargell for Clayton State. Gets it to Tyler Shirley at the free throw line. Shirley wants to shoot, he pulls up, he does shoot. Rims in and out, rebound by Jalen Jordan. Jordan gonna hand it off to Jalen Johnson once again. Up the far sideline, cut off there by T.J. Stargell. Dribbles down to the baseline, kicks it inside to Jalen Jordan, has his shot blocked. And now we're gonna have a jump ball, so it's gonna be Clayton State basketball. Clayton State. Substitution for... 10.29 to go here in the second half. Number one, Clayton State basketball. Keandre Bowles back to T.J. Stargell. To not be a starter, T.J. Stargell has gotten a lion's share of the playing time so far tonight. Got a backdoor alley-oop, Travis Harper with a dunk. Nice pass that time by T.J. Stargell. That makes it 63-58. Christian Coots. Over to Jalen Johnson. Johnson, top of the key. Gonna get a pick from Jalen Jordan. Gets it up, and now a little backdoor pass to Jalen Jordan. And Jalen Jordan with the dunk. He's got three. Pass goes to Diallo at the high post. Now back to Keandre Bowles. Diallo, backdoor pass to Williams. Williams is going to get the call for the offensive foul. He can't believe it again. West Williams got two fouls, and both of them are offensive fouls. Diallo will get a rest as Jamal Kleiss enters the game. Eddie Page enters the game for West Williams. 9.37 to go here in the second half. 65-58 your score. Jalen Johnson with the basketball. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of. Finally, T.J. Stargell is called for the foul. First personal. That's his first personal. Thought there was a lot of hand checking and body checking there. Almost thought we had a hockey game about to break out. Johnson. Dribbles down the right side, little pass back to Jalen Jordan. And once again, a great pass by Jalen Johnson. Little backdoor pass down the lane to Jalen Jordan. He gets the slam dunk once again. Hurricanes lead by nine, 67-58. Jamal Kleist, top of the key, gets it to Travis Harper. Harper, shake and bake move down the lane, throws it up. He's gonna get fouled. That foul is gonna be on Deontay Petrie, I believe. George and that is the case. Petrie with his second foul of the night. He's gonna send Travis Harper to the line. He'll get two free throws. Harper. First free throw on the way is up and it's good. Pick up, 
Harper. Again, up and good. So Harper now with 11 points. He's in double figures. Cuts the lead to seven, 67, 60, just under nine minutes. Jalen Johnson gonna get double teamed on the far side. Gets it to Petrie. Petrie pulls up a three. Good. Deontay Petrie with his second three-pointer makes it 70 to 60. Deontay loaded up that left-handed three-point three shot and he drained it from the left wing. Travis Harper for Clayton State gets it over to Keandre Bowles on the left wing. Bowles drives down into the corner, picks up his dribble, gets it to Eddie Page. Page at the free throw line, back to Travis Harper. Harper has it knocked away by Christian Coots, two on the shot clock, throws one up. It goes off the rim, no good. Rebound by Jalen Jordan. Jordan gonna get it to Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson crosses midcourt. Gonna get a pick from Jalen Jordan. Now he backs out of it. Jalen Johnson loses a handle on it. Quickly up to TJ Stargell. That was a good foul on Jordan Johnson's part. Gonna force the Lakers to, I hope they're not discussing whether that's an intentional foul. And with that, we'll see what they're going to call. The foul's going to be on, no doubt, it's going to be on Jordan Johnson. With that, we'll take a timeout. 7.54 to go here in the second half. 70 to 60, your score. Ten All right, everyone, let's hit the road. Mom, who's this? Oh, that's Michelle. She's our alpha agent. She helped me file that auto claim fast after that accident last week, so I figured we'd bring her with us. Breakfast burrito? All right, 200 miles before we stop. I hope you've all used the bathroom. Michelle, you good? Call Alpha Agent Kevin Brown in Americas for a quote today. animated down there on our bench had it been called and they're signaling for a one and one. So CJ Starger will go to the line for a one and one. Starger shooting 89% for the year. He's one for two tonight. Free throw on the way is up and it's no good. Rebound taken by Jalen Johnson. 
Johnson will cross midcourt. Picked up by T.J. Stargell, Deontay Petrie down to Jordan Johnson in the corner. Dribbles out of the corner, gets it to Jalen Jordan. Christian Coots dribbles up, gives it to Jalen Jordan, goes to the hole, up and good. Jalen Jordan off the glass. He's got seven in his 72-60. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Eddie Page at the top of the key. Looks. Looking for a back door. Tries to get it to T.J. Shirley. T.J. Shirley stopped, but it goes out of bounds on the pass from Eddie Page. Tyler Shirley getting ready to check back in. Jalen Johnson to Petrie. Petrie over to Coots on the left wing. Gets a pick from Petrie. Back out to Jalen Jordan. Jordan Johnson. Top of the key, back door to Jalen Jordan, left-hand hook shot, off the back of the rim, no good. Clayton State now with the basketball, Keandre Bowles down the lane, scoop shot up and good. Keandre Bowles now with four points. Inbounds pass goes to Jalen Johnson. Get through, TJ, get through, get through, get through. Jalen Johnson gets the pick from Jalen Jordan. Once again, gets a pick from Jalen Jordan. Pulls up from three, no good. Rebound taken by Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss gets it to Travis Harper. Harper up the far sideline on the wing. Pulls up, turn around, jump shot, and he is gonna get the basket and the end one. Foul's gonna be on Petrie. The, the foul, the third foul on Petrie. Harper with the basket. He'll get the and one situation. That makes it 72 64. Free throw on the way is up and it's good. So Travis Harper now with 14 points. He's Almost to his 16 point a game. Elijah Dates will Elijah check in for TJ Stargell. Jalen Johnson picked up there by Dates. Johnson nearing midcourt. Gets a pick from Jalen Jordan. In between the circles, 72 65. Seven point lead for the Hurricanes. Christian Coots. Gets it to Jalen Jordan at the top of the key. Jalen Jordan looking for a shot, has it knocked away. It's going to be a foul. That foul is going to be on Tyler Shirley. I believe that is his third foul of the night, and it is. Tyler Shirley, his third. That's going to be the seventh foul of the night on, or the second half, that should be in the. It'll give us a one if situation. Free throw on the way, up and good by Jalen Jordan. He's got eight points. Second free Jaylen throw Jordan at the line for the will be on the way. Petrie will take his place in the lane. Free throw, up and it's good. A good job of free throw shooting that time by Jalen Jordan. Extends the lead back to nine, 74-65. Five and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Jamal Kleiss. Kleiss loses a handle on it. Picked up there by Jaquan Moore, but he loses a handle on it. Shirley pulls up from the left wing, up and good. But Shirley has found his shot. That's nine points for Shirley. Jalen Johnson for the Hurricanes. Top of the key, little behind the back dribble. Gets it, Jalen Jordan over to Petrie. Petrie for three, no good. Rebound, Jaquan Moore. He loses a handle on it. Picked up there by Tyler Shirley. And Tyler Shirley is gonna get fouled. And Tyler Shirley will go to the line for two free throws. Georgia Southwestern foul. foul is on Christian Kuntz. Call by number 10, Christian Kuntz. Bryce Turner getting ready to Second check in. Second foul on Christian Kuntz for the night. It'll be Tyler, Tyler Shirley will Shirley. go to the line. 
Substitutions for both teams. In for the Lakers, number Lecky 25. Lecky will check in for Jamal Lecky. Kleiss. Lecky. Seems and that he may have taken a finger or an elbow to the eye. 15, Bryce Turner. Being tended to by the athletic trainer. Free throw on the way is up and it's good by Tyler Shirley. He's got 10, so he's in double figures. Third Laker of the night to be in double figures. Second free throw on the way is up and it's good. Tyler Shirley now with 11 points. Five point lead by the Hurricanes, 74-69. Petrie down the lane, gets it to Bryce Turner. Reverse layup and good. Nice pass that time by Deontay Petrie. Bryce Turner finishes it off with the reverse layup. Makes it 76-69. Four and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Don't have a clue has the ball. Official and Coach Alexander blocking my view. That's gonna be Travis Harper. His shot is no good. Rebound by Bryce Turner. Bryce Turner gonna hand it back to Jalen Johnson. C.J. Stargell getting ready to check back in for Clayton State. Johnson dribbles over on the left side, picked up by Baki Lecky. Top of the key, pulls up, shot up, go! <laughs> Jalen Johnson, smooth as silk. 12 points on the night, 78-69. Oh, and what a shot. There by Keandre Bowles. Cuts the lead back to seven, 78-71. 340 to go here in the second half. Jalen Johnson pulls up again, in and out. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Rebound taken by Elijah Dates. Dates hands off to Harper. Harper goes to the basket, shot no good. Almost rebounded there by Jaquan Moore, but knocked out of bounds by Baki Lecky, and that's gonna be Hurricanes basketball when we return after this timeout. 324 to go here in the second half. Hurricanes lead by score, 78-71. We'll take a 60-second media break after this. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94. Big showdown here at the Storm Dome on Saturday between Lander and the Lady Hurricanes. Jaquan Moore inbounds to Christian Coots. Coots guarded there by Keandre Bowles, crosses midcourt, gets it to Jalen Johnson. Johnson guarded by Stargell. Out near midcourt. Johnson over to Bryce Turner on the right wing. Now in the corner to Petrie. Petrie gets it back to Coots. Coots going to drive down the lane. Looks, throws it up, and he's going to get fouled. That's going to be a two-shot foul for Christian Coots. That foul is going to be on Keandre Bowles. So send Coots to the line. He's got 22 so far tonight. He's two for two from the free throw line. Christian Chambers getting ready to check in. That to the approval of the Hurricane student section. First free throw by Coots is up and good. Substitution for the Lakers will be number 12. Christian, Christian Chambers will check in for Keandre Bowles. Christian Coots. 
Second free throw on the way. It's up and it's good. So Christian Coots now with 24 points. And we'll have another timeout. 3 0 1 to go here in the second half. Hurricanes lead 80 to 71. We'll be back after this 30 second break. After this, you're with a nine point lead, 80 to 71. 301 to go here in the second half. It'll be Baki Lecky inbounding for Clayton State. Hurricanes will pick up man to man, full court. Inbounds goes to TJ Stargell. Stargell guarded by Jalen Johnson. Over to Christian Chambers on the left. He loses the handle, picks it back up. Gets it to Tyler Shirley. Now T.J. Stargell, top of the key. Looks, pulls up, shot just inside the three-point line. No good. Loose ball is going to go off of, looks like, Elijah Date. So it's going to be Hurricanes basketball. Inbounds goes to Christian Coots. Travis Harper getting ready to check back in. Coots crosses midcourt. Now gets it to Jalen Johnson. Johnson. Gets it over to Bryce Turner. Turner down in the corner to Petrie. Petrie back to Coots. Coots in the lane. And they're gonna call a foul. Foul is gonna be on Bucky Lecky. He's gonna send Christian Coots to the line. He'll shoot a one in. One more and he'll be in the double bonus. Make this first one, Christian, and we'll get a second one. 2.20 to go here in the second half. Free throw on the way. Ooh, it goes. It rattled a lot, but it went. So that makes it 81-71. 10-point lead with 2.20 to go here in the second half. Second free throw up, and it's good. So Christian Coots now with 26 points tonight. Elijah Dates picked up there by Coots. Dribbles, passes over to Lecky. Lecky over to Tyler Shirley. Shirley from three point, no good. Rebound, picked up by the Lakers. Elijah Dates shot no good. Tyler Shirley put back up and good. Tyler Shirley. So Tyler Shirley now with 13 points, under two minutes. 82-73. Hurricanes with a nine point lead. Jalen Johnson. Directing traffic. Oh, that was dangerous. Jaquan Moore in the corner to Coots. Coots pulls up for three, no good. Rebound taken by Elijah Dates. Not sure that's the shot Coach Coons wanted. Harper. Harper again, taking Petrie down the baseline. Throws it up and it's good. Travis Harper now with 18 points. Inbounds goes to Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson directs traffic. Just about a minute to go here in the game. 82-75, seven point lead. Alley-oop pass to Bryce Turner, up and good. 84-75, under a minute to go. Clayton State in desperation now. Tyler Shirley in the lane, running one-hander, up good. And he's gonna get fouled. So give the Shirley the basket, he'll get 15. He'll get the end one situation foul on Christian Coots. He can cut the lead to six, make it a two possession game with 48 seconds to go. Shirley at the line. He's been perfect from the line so far tonight. And he is once again, so he's got 16 on the night. Are they gonna say that 
was on the floor. We got an argument here. We go, okay, they got it straightened out. They gave him the points on the shot. One of the officials thought it was a, a two-shot foul, but it was only a one-shot foul. And now we're going to have a timeout by Coach Coons. 48.3 seconds to go. Hurricane lead, 84-78. We'll be back after this. We'll take a 30-second break. Said he won't to. Inbounds goes to Jalen Johnson. Going to get double teamed. Now gets it over to Petrie. Petrie crosses mid court, and we're going to have a foul. That foul is going to be on Travis Harper. Surprisingly, that I believe is the first foul of the night on Travis Harper. That's going to send Deontay Petrie to the line. He'll get two free throws. Both teams now in the double bonus. So Petrie will go to the line for two. Free throw on the way is up and it's good. This is the time of the game in the situation where you gotta hit your free throws. Wes Williams enters for Baki Lecky. Petrie up and good. So Petrie now with eight points. 86-78, 42.3 seconds. T.J. Stargill guarded by Jalen Johnson. Cut off there by Johnson, kicks it back out to Wes Williams. Williams loses the handle on it. Jalen Johnson gonna go up with a two-handed slam dunk, and good. Jalen Johnson now with 14 points. And now we're gonna have a technical foul. Call on Jalen Johnson. Johnson with a two-handed slam dunk and slap the glass. That's a no-no. That runs the lead to 10, but Travis Harper will get, step up to the line and take the two free throws for the technical. First free throw on the way is up and good. So he'll get only one shot on that. That cuts the lead back down to nine. 30.1 seconds to go. Full court pressure by the Hurricanes. They're gonna make them work the ball up court to take as much time off the clock is possible. Inbounds, knocked away, picked up by Jalen Johnson. It's all about keep away now, but, but an easy basket by Jaquan Moore makes it 90 to 79, 11 point lead, 23 seconds to go. Three pointer by Tyler Shirley in and out. It's gonna be out of bounds on Clayton State. And I think you might can probably put the dogs in the truck because this hunt is gonna be over. Famous saying by a very, very dear friend of mine. Jalen Johnson will walk it up 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds, seven, six. Looks like the Hurricanes are gonna move to 13 and six on the season, five and four in the Peach Belt. Hurricanes win 90 to 79. do it for this one. Hurricanes outscore the Lakers 46 to 39 in the second half after leading 44 to 40. We'll be back after this break. We'll talk to head coach Aaron Coons and wrap up tonight's game after this. You're listening to Hurricane Basketball on 94 Sports.
Congratulations to Coach Coons and the Hurricanes with the win. Georgia Southwestern improves to 13 and 6 overall this season. 5 and 4 in Peach Belt Conference play. Once again, the Hurricanes are home Saturday night to host Lander. 5.30 with the ladies, 7.30 your start time this Saturday. We hope you can make it back here and cheer the Hurricanes on to another win in the Dome. Till then, travel safely wherever you may be seeing. We hope we're heading. Don't forget, baseball opening night. Friday at 6, come on out and watch the Hurricanes at Hurricane Stadium. Baseball, Friday night, 6 o'clock.